right, what is up guys? So as you can see, it's about 7.30. Just woke up. You guys see what I'm weighing in at, 190.1. And actually, when I first woke up, I was 189.9, or 189.8. But I have my necklace on and then my boxers, so added 0.3 pounds. But I did wake up at 189.8 this morning. That was with nothing on. Um, so yeah, lowest weighing in a while, but nice thing is, guys, today and tomorrow we get a pretty decent refeed day. Coach sent it to us. He said no cardio today and tomorrow, and then to do this refeed diet today and tomorrow, and then come around Saturday, we'll be back to normal cardio, normal high and low days, and then sending pictures as of Tuesday. And then as of today, guys, we are 30 days out. We'll be four weeks out in two days, but I'm hungry as fuck, you guys. So I'll see you downstairs for meal number one. All right, guys. So it's almost 8 o'clock. I just got all of my food made. So I'll show you guys what we got. We have our normal two cups of egg whites, handful of spinach, half of a bell pepper, and then we have our mustard and Frank's Red Hot in there sauce-wise. And then, guys, this bowl is fucking huge. Almost filled to the top with cream of rice. We got... 90 grams of cream of rice, 90, I'm so excited. We're back to that for two days. 90 grams of cream of rice, we got our normal 100 grams of blueberries. And you see that right there? That's some good old natural peanut butter. We got 16 grams of that, which is one tablespoon of peanut butter. And then of course, my English toffee stevia drops. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of cinnamon there as well. But you guys, I'm hungry as fuck, so I'll talk to you guys after. All right, hello people. So. It is currently 10.30. We got our next meal in front of us, and you guys, I'm excited for this one. So, we were eight ounces of chicken, 100 grams of asparagus, um, then we have our Frank's Red Hot and our mustard on there. And guys, today we get 14 ounces of sweet potato. I made some homemade sweet potato fries. I just baked them in the oven. Um, I will be getting an air fryer soon, so I'll be able to make them crispy. And I don't use any oil, I just use this little canola spray. I know canola's not that great for you, but it's a cooking spray. But yeah, so we have 14 ounces of sweet potato and then our chicken and asparagus as well. And guys, I'm excited to eat this meal. Like I said, the fries are good. Mm. All it is is I put cinnamon on my sweet potato, but then I put like this barbecue sauce on here. It's a sugar-free barbecue sauce. Super good. I'm gonna get some work done on my computer. And yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll see you guys here in a little bit. As you guys can see, I completely, absolutely demolished that meal. And what's funny, you guys, is I could still eat more. That meal, here, pull it up on my phone. The other one was 702 calories, and then meal two we just had was 734. Um, carb wise was around 84 grams of carbs that meal was um, <clears throat> but guys I calculated everything in my fitness pal for the whole day and the whole day we're eating 3,898 calories so we're at 3,900 calories we have 386 protein 448 carb and 50 fat and that's for today and tomorrow um, and like I said coach said no cardio for today and tomorrow we're doing the two refeed days and then come around Saturday, we'll be back to our normal high and low days and then our normal cardio schedule as well. So I get this refeed day two days in a row and I don't have to do cardio. It's so amazing. But you guys, as of today, yes, we're 30 days out. So four weeks out this coming Saturday. I'm ready, you guys. I'm just ready. I'm freaking ready. Go up there, kill it, do my posing routine. Get that NQ, get that national qualification, and then get to eat whatever we want. Saturday night, eat everything we want, whatever we want, all of Sunday, the whole day. And then we'll start a reverse diet that following Monday. Reverse diet for a good three to four weeks until the end of October. And then officially start our off season right around the fourth week of October. So I, practically end of October, beginning of November, we'll really officially start our off season. And guys, we're going to be packing on as much size as possible, not getting fat, but putting on as much size as we can, eating a lot of food, training hard, probably get up to, I'll definitely be having probably two cheats a week 
after each leg day because I do two leg days a week, so Tuesdays and Saturdays. And then if I need to put on more size, then that's when I'll probably throw a third cheat meal in on one of my back days. So we will be having a cheat meal like every other day. But you guys, these carbs, these carbs are going right to the legs. The veins are starting to poke out. You guys can see. Not too bad. Um, right now I'm just working on getting some more clients. I'm going to go over some online client stuff, get up, move around a bit. But then I'll see you guys here shortly for meal number three. And then after that, we're going to nap. Hello, friends and people watching the video. It is currently 1235. And right now we got meal number three, which, guys, look at all that goodness, is as follows. 10 ounces of salmon, and we have 280 grams of white basmati rice. It's usually 230, but today is 280. And then we have our 100 grams of asparagus. And guys, with this meal, I will be taking my RPG. This is the glucose disposal tabs by Redcon. And you might be wondering why I didn't take them with my meal two, because my meal two is 80 grams of carbs. This meal is right around 100 grams of carbs. For me, personally, you guys, I don't see the need to take any glucose tabs unless my meal is 100 grams of carbs or over. My body seems to digest. It's not that it, like... It's not that my body won't digest the carbs well. It's just if my body, if I'm eating a meal that's under 100 grams of carbs, my body seems like it just burns through it. So whenever I have a meal that's over 100 grams of carbs, that's usually when I take the RPG. Um, just because 100 is quite a bit. Um, so 100 or over, I just like to take the RPG just because it helps give that extra boost of shuttling all the food to my muscle. Like I said, if I have a meal that's under 100 grams, I don't take the RPG. So I only take that if it's 100 or over, which I take four. It's four caps per serving. So you can always do a half serving if you want. Um, but like I said, I see no need in doing it unless the meal has at least 100 grams of carbs in it, um, which this meal today is the only one that has around 100. So I'm only going to be taking that once today and then once tomorrow. And then I have my ice drink. I found some really fun flavors. This one is pomegranate blueberry. And then there was like a nectarine peach one that I had that was super good. But I'm gonna go ahead and smash this meal and then I'll talk to you guys a little bit afterwards. Oh yeah, baby, look at that cream of rice. Look how thick this is, ready? So guys, meal is as follows. We have 80 grams, 80 grams cream of rice pre-workout today. Boom, right there. Oh, shit. And one scoop of our Emery Light banana nut bread flavor. One scoop of glutamine, and then we have our cup of egg whites cooking. I'm making a little egg white pancake, and I'm gonna show you guys how that turns out. You might be wondering, Hunter, why the fuck did you put Walden Farms pancake syrup on egg whites. Well, you guys, you see, I mix cinnamon with the egg whites, and then I put cinnamon on top after this little egg white pancake is done cooking. And then we put some Walden Farms normal pancake, oh, Walden Farms, oh, pancake syrup on here. Calorie-free, sugar-free, no carbs, no fats, none of that. And guys, do not knock it till you try it. Hold on. See this? Guys, it's so good. Yes, you taste the egg white, but it sounds weird. The egg white flavor with cinnamon and then that pancake syrup is mwah. So, 
I did not film earlier at the gym with Eric just because we were super into the workout. I just didn't pull my camera out just because like I said, we were getting super into it. It was a really good workout, super intense. Um, I forgot to film my meal number five, which was my post-workout meal, but I'll just fill you guys in. It was just our eight ounces of chicken. We had 240 grams of rice and then 100 grams of broccoli. But we now have our final meal of the day, which is a cup of egg whites with a handful of spinach. And then we have one scoop of protein with one scoop of glutamine, which we turn into protein powder only pancakes. And there's 16 grams of peanut butter on there. And then we have our one cup of almond milk. So I'm going to go ahead and chow down on this and I'll talk to you guys when I'm upstairs to finish off the video. All right, so I just finished up my meal. So I was going to wrap up today's video. Um, like I said, I'm sorry for out meal number five. And then on top of that, I didn't get any gym footage. But like I said, today was more of a full day eating. Not really a workout. I wanted to get some footage, but we were super into the workout. It was super intense. It was good and fun. Um, I'm going to actually show you guys a physique update after a full day of eating. Okay, guys, this is after a full day of eating. This is after my refeed today. So approximately right under 3,900 calories, 380 grams of protein, 440 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of fat and right around two, I'd say two and a half gallons of water. And this is how we're looking. Pretty fucking decent for that much food and that much water. And like I said, you guys, I get the same exact thing tomorrow which is going to be fucking amazing. And then come around Saturday, we'll be back to our normal high and low days and then our normal cardio schedule. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. There will definitely be more full day eating videos um, leading up towards the end of my prep just because diet's changing a lot. Um, and then like I said, you guys, peak week will be fun because um, we'll be recording. I'll start recording once I hit three days out that Wednesday, which will be like my last depletion day hopefully and then we'll start the carb up process thursday that's gonna be fun and then friday we'll be heading up to squaw um my show actually got switched the venue got changed so it's not in tahoe anymore it's now in squaw valley california resort's really nice except the show's gonna be outside now which that's gonna fucking kind of suck i don't know why they can't do an inside venue um but regardless it's gonna be fun the Friday video will be fun. Saturday will be even more fun. And then Sunday's going to be fucking awesome with all the food. Anyways, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next episode.